it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and I'm starting off this review holding a bottle opener and that's because I'm really excited to get into today's beer. That excited that I've started with a bottle opener so I can just get the beer out really quickly. Um, but I'll show the beer first. It's by Thornbridge Brewery and it's a bottle of their Brother Rabbit Golden Ale. 4% ABV. Now I've always been a big big fan of Thornbridge Brewery and I've always wanted to try this beer. There's another beer as well that keeps eluding me. Um, anyway, bottle cap. 330 milliliter bottle, 4% ABV. Uh, the design is a bit of kind of orange and a little bit of brown on the label. <clears throat> Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice, plenty of smoke on the bottle opening. Uh, beer in the glass. Oh, look at that, look how light this beer is. So I'll tell you where I got it from and the other Thornbridge beer that keeps eluding me in a moment. But I just want to concentrate on the beer a moment. We've got a three finger white head lovely lovely carbonation on the glass lovely carbonation on the beer lovely carbonation on the glass yeah lovely carbonation on the beer <laughs> hazy straw colored very very light for a gold nail i mean it's all very pale i mean if this was clear it would be coming across as a lager well, I suppose you could say it looks like an unfiltered lager, couldn't you? Uh, let's get the aroma. Wow. For a golden ale. Wow, that is zesty. Really zesty, really light and fluffy and airy. Lemon, lemon and lime. Spicy and peppery on the back end. Smells really good, really good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Superb. Superb beer. So let me give you some flavours and then I'll kind of describe the style, I suppose, the golden ale style. It's so light. It's so light and airy and fluffy and carbonation really pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases loads of flavour on your palate. But it's so crisp. When I say light and fluffy, what I'm meaning to say is really crisp and cutthroat. It really is kind of on the, on the forefront of your palate. The flavours are all over the front of the tongue incredibly drinkable in fact i wish i bought a load more of this a load more now with thornbridge generally in the supermarkets you get maybe jaipur the new zealand beer and then you might get a few specials they'll, they'll definitely sell you their cocoa they sell a cocoa chocolate kind of stout or port i believe buy it it's pretty good in a in a in a purple can that's pretty good but you never you never see these see this and I've, I've been after this for a long time and for a number of reasons i've been after this now i picked this up in home bargains my mate who i play snooker with on a monday sent me a picture of another thornbridge beer that was in home bargains and i texted him back straight away and i said i've been after this beer for years so I shot down Home Bargains, couldn't find it, but found this instead. 
I think I went a day later. And going a day later in home bargains, you could miss a whole, somebody could go and clear the shelf of the damn stuff. And I think that's what happened. So couldn't find the beer in question, but found this, but always wanted to try this because I've always wanted to know what a golden ale by Thornbridge would taste like. Now I know, now I know. It's a, it's a modern version, a modern kind of take on a golden ale. So this cost me £1.20 for the bottle. Really pleased with the price. Really pleased with the beer. <clears throat> Available in home bargains. So golden ale. Quite carbonated on the ear as well. You can really hear it. Have a listen. I don't know where the microphone is on the iPhone. Maybe you heard that. Um, so golden ale. The golden ale style for me is more of a biscuity, bready... Or traditionally, anyway, biscuity, bready beer with a little bit of a hop balance, a little bit of kind of hoppiness on the back end, just to, just to kind of balance off that kind of malty kind of sweetness and maybe a touch of breadiness in there. But this is this is very different. I mean, nine out of ten golden ales will have that kind of malty backbone, that malty platform. With with a with a little bit of hop on the back end, a little bit of kind of spicy peppery hop, but this is this is very hop forward. Lovely aroma. And a really lovely light, crisp, zesty taste. So you wouldn't normally describe, I don't think anyway, you would describe a golden ale as being really crisp, you know, almost kind of like lager crisp. Normally you would associate a golden ale with probably something a little bit more malty and bready with a little bit of a hot balance there. But this is very different. It's very different. It's, it's, it's fantastic, really. It's love how crisp it is. Crisp and refreshing. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. It's a lemon and lime hop flavour. And my big disappointment is, is that I didn't buy 10 bottles. If I go back to Home Bargains in the next few days and they've got maybe, I don't know, a few of these left, then I'll pick the whole lot up. This is perfect for a live stream. This beer is perfect for a Friday night Stone Crow Virtual Pub. 4% ABV. Drink a lot of it. Enjoy a lot of it. Loads of flavour. Loads of refreshing aspects to the beer. And yeah, just something you can kind of sip along to quietly while you read the comments and have a chat with the Stone Crow. It's a perfect Stone Crow beer, is that? Um, right, so, um, Brother Rabbit pours lemon zest in colour with a fresh citrus hop aroma. Bottle conditioned with our cask ale yeast. This beer is dry and fruity with a gentle bitterness, making it a great session beer. It really is. It really is a great session beer, this one. Bottle conditioned. So this is, this is for me, pardon me, Thornbridge is kind of, angle on the golden ale market because all over the country all over the uk if you go into if you go into a lot of kind of country pubs you know thatch roofs type of thing old-fashioned bars if they got four hand pulls on four of these kind of hand pulls then generally as a rule you'll probably see three three gold nails on there and the golden ales won't go over 4.5% ABV. So this has been produced by Thornbridge to tackle that side of the market. 4% ABV, like golden ale, going to satisfy a lot of people. And then they buy the beer, they enjoy the beer, and they might go and buy 
Joypur or something else or a stout or a porter or something really kind of way out there and different. That's the point. This is probably Thornbridge's bread and butter. I wouldn't be surprised if this was Thornbridge's, especially in the area where they are in Bakewell. I wouldn't be surprised if they, this was their number one seller. So rating, I, I really, really like it. I really, really like this. Great aroma, great look to the beer, great taste. £1.20 a bottle in home bargains. I like that enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.